And here is a very interesting example of how we use the diffraction grating to separate light in, for example, a source of white light. Let's say we have sunlight or an incandescent light bulb or so shining through the diffraction grating. And let's say the diffraction grating has 5,000 slits per centimeter. So what is the separation distance in that diffraction grating? And we know that D is simply equal to 1 over the number of slits per centimeter. So that's 5,000 slits per centimeter. And uh, the calculator, say we take 5,000, take the inverse of that. That's uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 4, so 2 times 10 to the minus 4 centimeters which is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, which is 2 micrometers. So the separation distance from between adjacent slits is 2 micrometers, which forms a very widely separated pattern on the other side. And if the light that we shine through the diffraction grating contains all the colors, what would be the separation angle between the red light and the blue light? And of course, the red light has a wavelength, uh, red, has a wavelength equal to about 700 nanometers. And let me write that correctly. Nm for nanometers. And of course, the blue light has a wavelength equal to about 400 nanometers. That's, of course, approximate, but it gives us the idea. OK, how do we do that? First of all, the extra distance travel is always going to be the separation distance d times the sine of theta theta being very large, and therefore we cannot make the approximation that the sine of theta is approximately equal to the tangent of theta. To find the first order max, we can set the extra distance travel equal to a full wavelength because that way the top wave and the bottom wave will have a, a phase difference of exactly one wavelength which puts them back into phase, which means you're going to have a constructed interference at the screen. So we're going to set the extra distance equal to a single wavelength to find the first order max. So set those two equal to each other. We have d sine theta is equal to 1 lambda. So therefore, sine of theta is equal to lambda divided by d. And theta is equal to the arc sine of lambda divided by d. Now, d is found. It's 2 micrometers. And lambda will depend upon the color of light that we use. So if we first use red light, we can say that the angle is equal to the arc sine of lambda. In this case, we're going to use 700 nanometers, 700 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, divided by the separation distance of uh, 2 micrometers, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. Uh, let's see here. 700 divided by 2,000. This is in nanometers. That's 0.35. Take the arc sine of that. So we have theta is equal to 20.5 degrees. So if the angle is 20.5 degrees, that's where you'll see the bright fringe of the red color. Now, what will it be for blue color? Well, for blue, we have theta is equal to the arc sine of 400 nanometers. It goes the blue light has a wavelength of about 400 nanometers divided by the distance 2 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And theta, therefore, is equal to, we get 11.5 degrees. Means in the very same order of maximum light, the angle for blue light is not nearly as, as large. So theta is equal to 11.5 degrees. So you can see that the maximum encompasses a great variety of angles. So within a fairly large range of almost 10 degrees, you'll find all the various colors of the rainbow separated by this diffraction grating. And that's why when you shine light, wh uh, white light through the diffraction grating, you'll see all the rainbow colors of light because it'll diffract them differently as they go through and you can separate the light colors like that. So that's how you find the various angles associated with specific colors of light. Now, you can turn that around for example, you might, and as an example, I say, well, let's say that you find a particular color right here, and you measure the, the angle very carefully. You say that the angle theta is equal to 15.64 degrees. What wavelength does that associate itself with? For example, we shine white light through a diffraction grating. We measure an angle of a particular color at 15.64 degrees. What is the wavelength of that? So then we can turn this completely 
this completely around. We could take the very same equation. We could say that d sine theta is equal to lambda, and so lambda is equal to d sine theta, and d is, of course, the separation distance between the slits, which we found to be uh, 2 micrometers, so that's 2 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, and we multiply times the sine of the angle that we very carefully measured to be 15.64 degrees. And what do we get? So we go 15.64, we take the sine of that, and we multiply that times, times 2 e to the 6th minus equals, and we get a wavelength of exactly 539.18 nanometers. Oh, there's the M, lambda. So we can use the diffraction grating for very carefully and accurately measure the wavelength of a light coming through a diffraction grating. And that's how we do that.